everyone so I am continuing on with my series with the faithful fab ladies beauty through the decades and I'm doing the 1930s today and I'm going to be doing a daytime soft look so this is the KBD good apple foundation I'm using this because in 1938 max factor invented the pancake foundation so I thought it was the closest, it looked the closest, and they did use a wet sponge to blend it into the face. And before this step, I did use a moisturizer because they would prep the skin with a vanishing cream. And before they would use foundation, like the, the pancake foundation, they would just use a powder and they would put it over a vanishing cream to help adhere it to the skin. And I'm just applying a little underneath my eyes because I will not be using concealer. And now the Cody Airspun. They did set their face and Cody Airspun was invented in the 1930s. And they just use a powder puff all over their face to set down their, their foundation or their over their vanishing cream. I just set it everywhere but yeah the 1930s the makeup looks got more subtle compared to the 1920s and then they did use a brush to dust away all that powder and actually in the 1930s bronze dirt like being tan actually became a thing like it made you look like you just came back from vacation like a tropical vacation so it was more acceptable and they all they actually offered tan powders to make you look, give you that bronze appearance. And I thought that was really interesting, but it was still popular to have the pale complexion. And for blush, while well, rouge was not as strong in the 1930s as it was in the 20s, and they did offer like a cream formula. They also did offer powder. That's why I chose powder. And they did use more soft, subtle blush to contour. And the colors were like soft pink and subtle rose. So for eyebrows, they did use a pencil and it, their eyebrows were thin and they did extend it. Unfortunately, I'm out of a pencil. I don't have a pencil brow right, product right now. So I'm just using my pomade. And I wasn't going to shave off my brows and draw a thin line, but yeah, they did you do more thin brows and extend it longer but it wasn't as like harsh as the 1920s because a lot of women would just wear their natural brows and just you know fill it in kind of like what they do now and for eyeshadow i'm using a matte lavender um they would apply it with their fingers and blend it up to the brow bone and the colors that were popular were blue greens violets browns, black, gray, silver, and gold. And a lot of times they would match like the color of their eyes and, you know, light eyeshadow during the day and deeper, deeper, smokier eyeshadows at, for the evening looks. Or they wouldn't wear eyeshadow at all. And I am going in with a Wet n Wild brow, brown eye pencil because they did do eyeliner they would eyeline the whole eye but they would do it more subtle and a lot of times they would use their brow pencil to do this and I'm just kind of lining underneath and smudging it with my finger I'm going very light just defining the lash line I mean makeup was more acceptable in the 1930s but definitely it was more natural in the 30s especially for daytime looks and I'm doing the same up top you know just lining my lash line and smudging it in with my finger but yeah all the other ladies are going to be doing a collab as well and I will link all their channels down below so you could check out their channels and see what they do for the 1930s look all year we're going to be doing this collab every month you know a different decade so next month stay tuned for the 1940s
and I am curling my lashes. The eyelash curler was invented in the 20s and it looks very similar to, to what it does today. And I do not have a cake or a cake pancake mascara, I believe it's called. I could be wrong, so I'm just using my L'Oreal telescopic lift. And they would use like browns and blacks and just they would even have like green and blues and they would also use false lashes as well. I know Besame Cosmetics sells a modern mascara, like a the, the pancake mascara, a modern version with a little brush, but it is a little tricky because you would have to wet it with water, like it would be a solid block. And yeah, you would wet it with water and take your brush and coat your lashes. And they still didn't invent the mascara wand yet. That will be later on. I'm just showing you my look and for lipsticks so compared to the cupid's bow in the 1920s they would do more full and pouty lips going over the natural lip line and hunter's bow was a look created for joan crawford by max factor and the colors they would use is reds orange reds rose reds maroon deep burgundy candy king pink and beige pink and lip brushes were also used in the 1930s. So that's why I chose this like pink color. And they also had blotting papers. They would, for your lipstick, I just used toilet paper to blot it. But that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.